Hello everybody, it's Bordrick here and this is how to use the Galva Knuckles properly. So to buy the Galva Knuckles on town as I'm showing you right now, you need to go to the stairway and you'll see them flashing right there for $6,000 or points or whatever the hell you like to call them. They look like knuckle dusters or busters, I'm not sure what they're called. But they send an electric shot into the zombie, killing it from rounds 1 to 14, making it a the best melee weapon you can get so far on COD Zombies, better than the Bowie Knife or the Sickle, which costs $3,000. So you basically pay for what you get. Uh, no perks would increase the damage of this, I'm sure at the moment, but it is a beast and if you've got enough money, I would always, always recommend you getting it. I usually forget to buy it, but if I remember, I usually do buy it. So. It is a good melee weapon as I was saying before, but there isn't any downsides to buying it apart from the price. I'd get it over the Bowie Knife, I'm not sure why it costs double the points because Bowie Knife is a one hit kill tonight from round 1 to 9 and that is a one hit kill from 1 to, what is it, I think it's 14. No, no, it's a one hit kill from 1 to 13, I'm very sorry for saying 14 before. It's a two hit kill at 14, so don't worry about what I was saying. So, it's not like it doubles how much of a one hit kill it is, it's just goes for a few more rounds of a body knife, but if you're not getting to any high rounds and you just want to muck around, I recommend getting them. So as you can see there, I'm on round 12 and almost down and it's getting one hit. And now you'll see a short clip of round 13, me getting a one hit kill. And when 14, I won't be able to get any more one hit kills. And I'll tell you a strategy for round 14. So when you're on round 14, which it is right now, you want to shoot a few bullets into the zombies then knife them. I was just demonstrating why it's two shots there for the other knuckles so yeah you need to shoot a few shots in your chest like you would do on round two three and four and then you would have to knife them so that works very well I have to say as you can see I'm shooting them and getting a few knives it is a great backup weapon for when you're when you've gone down on a way around you can easily recover by just sniping the crap out of zombies. They don't explode on your face like the Bowie knife, which is really annoying. And even when you're down, guys, you can still pwn those noobie zombies. They think they're so tough when we're crawling, but they're not. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this commentary. Please feel free to subscribe, because it's free. See you later.